let's try a problem where we have only a weak base added. Let's consider an ammonia solution. Household cleaners often contain ammonia. Ammonia is actually a weak base. It has a lone pair of electrons that can couple with hydrogen ions so that if we have hydrogen ions probably in solution we can have an equilibrium between that and this weak base or weak acid so this is ammonium and that's a weak acid So we can find a pKa value for that. And if you look up in the back of quantitative analysis books, you find a value of 9.26. The Ka value is 10 to the minus 9.26 or 5.69. Times 10 to the minus 10. Now, you might be familiar with working with KB. KB is nothing more than KW divided by KA. So we can go back and forth between the two, where KW at room temperature is approximately 1 times 10 to the minus 14. Analytical chemists look at this as an acid-base problem. It doesn't matter which we start with. We can find a Ka and work with it and use our general weak acid equation where Ka is CHA for the analytical concentration of the weak acid minus the H plus, plus OH, over CA plus H plus, minus OH. So it doesn't matter where we start. We still can apply this general equation and simplify it for our special case. Let's suppose that we take a solution, a stock solution of concentrated ammonia is typically about 14.8. That's what a bottle of reagent ammonia would, would contain. That's the molarity. Let's suppose that we dilute that down by a factor of thousandfold to 1.48 times 10 to the minus 2 molar. So that's our analytical concentration and that's the conjugate base. How do we simplify this equation? If nothing else has been added, then there is no analytical concentration of the acid form, so that term becomes zero. Likewise, if we're working with an ammonia solution, we certainly have a basic solution, In such a situation, the hydrogen ion concentration is much, much smaller than the hydroxide concentration. So to a first approximation, we can drop these terms out. So we might want to calculate the concentration of hydroxide. We've got a, on the left hand side H plus that is related to the, H, the hydroxide concentration in this way. So this is equal to Ka times hydroxide over Ca minus hydroxide. So let's solve for hydroxide. If we rearrange this to isolate the 
hydroxide concentration. Let's take this out and bring it to one side with that term. That means we want to bring the Ka over on this side and it will be in the denominator. We also group this term over there. It comes up and becomes part of the numerator. So what do we have? We have hydroxide concentration squared is equal to Kw over Ka times Ca minus hydroxide. This is also a quadratic equation. We're going to take this ratio a lot and we see that that is nothing more than the Kb. Okay, let's calculate a number for that. The Kb or Kw over Ka is equal to 1 times 10 to the minus 14 divided by 5.69 times 10 to the minus 10 or our Kb is 1.757 times 10 to the minus 5. If we group the terms so that we have this general format for a quadratic equation, we know that the hydroxide concentration ought to be equal to the opposite of B plus the square root of B squared minus 4AC over 2A. Rewriting our equation for hydroxide, we get that hydroxide squared, okay, B times hydroxide is a negative term on the right. If we bring it over on the same side with the squared term, we get Kw over Ka times hydroxide and then Kw over Ka times Ca, bringing it around to the same side as the squared term, means it's a minus Kw over Ka times Ca. That equal to zero. So A is one, B is this term, and C is this term. Therefore, hydroxide concentration Again, we're using only the positive root because this will be a negative number. We have to sum it to a positive number to get a meaningful or physically meaningful concentration. So the minus 1.757 times 10 to the minus 5 plus the square root of 1.757 times 10 to the minus 5 squared minus a minus plus 4 times that ratio, which is 1.757 times 10 to the minus 5 times our analytical concentration, Ca, which is 1.48 times 10 to the minus 2. That sum in the square root of that sum over 2a and a is 1. Numerically we get the hydroxide concentration is 2.00, the next digit would be a 5, times 10 to the minus 3 we could calculate the pOH, which is 
minus the log of the hydroxide activity, or we'll use as an approximation the concentration. So that gives us a numerical value of 2.697. pH is just pKW, or 14, minus pOH, which if we plug the numbers in here, we get a net result of the pH is 11.30, the next digit would be a 2. So 11.30 is our pH.